In this next example, we are given that the sine of beta equals 5 thirteenths, where pi over 2 is less than beta, which is less than pi. And we want to find the sine of 2 beta without using a calculator. So uh, there's a little bit going on in this problem. The first thing I'd like to do is kind of visualize what this angle beta really is. So I'm told that the sine is uh, 5 thirteenths, and that means that, or, and then I'm also told that beta is in between pi over 2 and pi. So it's going to put an angle beta somewhere in here. So that is this angle beta. And why is that important? That tells me that cosine is also negative of whatever this angle beta is, since uh, this, this angle falls in the second quadrant. So I want to find the sine of 2 beta. Well, let's bring up what the formula is for the sine of 2 beta. Sine of 2 beta equals 2 times the sine of beta times the cosine of beta. All right, well, let's see what I have to work with. I have the sine of beta. That's given to me. That's 5 thirteenths. Check. I do not have the cosine of beta. So now I need to find what the cosine of beta is. Well, how do I do this? Uh, if I have a sine of an angle, how do I find its cosine? This is where identities come into play. We can re recall the Pythagorean identity of sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. Well, I have a sine. I'm looking for a cosine, so I can use this identity to find the cosine of beta. So we're going to do a little bit of rearranging here. I'm going to solve this for cosine of theta. So let's subtract sine squared of theta, and I'll get cosine squared of theta equals uh, 1 minus the sine squared of theta. And we'll take the square root of both sides of this guy. So uh, the cosine of theta equals, now I could technically have this equal to the positive or negative root of this. Since I'm in the second quadrant, I know that cosine is negative. So that means that I'm looking for the negative square root of 1 minus sine squared of theta. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I basically created a new identity. That's kind of fun, uh, fancy. And I can use this to apply to this problem to solve for cosine of beta. So let's do that. So I'm going to jump over here now. I'm going to say that the cosine of beta is going to equal the negative square root of 1 minus sine of beta squared, or the sine squared of beta. So that's going to be 5 thirteenths squared. All right, so the cosine of beta is going to equal negative square root of 1 minus, and that's uh, 25 over 169. Now i got to do a little bit of combining of my fractions here. So let's scroll down a little bit, give me some more room. The cosine of beta is going to equal the negative square root of this is 169 over 169 minus 25 over 169. And so then what I'll do is I will subtract this. So the cosine of beta equals negative the square root of 144 over 169. Hey, that's kind of convenient. These are both perfect squares. This is going to equal negative 12 over 13. Great. That is my cosine of beta. So let's just kind of box that. That's kind of important. All right, so now I'm going to take this cosine of beta and plug it into this formula, which I now have all of my, my um, components of. And let's do that in, uh, in orange. So the sine of, let's separate this a little bit here. The sine of 2 beta is going to equal 2 times the sine of beta. And we said that was 5 thirteenths times cosine of beta, which is negative 12 thirteenths. And that's going to equal 2 times 5 is 10, times 12 is negative 120 over 169. So a little bit more going on with this problem, uh, but still doable, right? So I need to recall how to use the Pythagorean identities. I need to recall how to place angles and which trig ratios are positive and which are, are negative. And then I'm just, again, plugging stuff in and evaluating. So why don't you take a similar problem, pause the video, give this one a shot, give this one a shot, and, and see how it goes. And here is my solution for this one. Uh, third quadrant angle, so I know that sine and cosine are both negative, and you can see my work uh, here below with my final answer of 4 root 5 over 9.